Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. This is Cougar, and I am here with another episode from the Amazon Review Series. Obviously, this is about products that we find here on Amazon. Let's not keep it too much of a surprise. We'll go ahead and open it up, and you guys can see what it is. All right, so here we go. Got this, this thing right here. Got a box there, and we've got the traditional thank you card that's there. Uh, now this says that it is the BM2-S accessory box and in it we've got the instruction book. We have got uh, some instructions here and we've got a USB charging cable. So, all right, and this uses a round end on it, so it doesn't use like a micro USB or whatever. So make sure, obviously, you're gonna probably wanna watch and make sure that you don't lose this. So we've got this uh, nice kind of bag, which I've never really noticed something like this before for one of these. It is a Bluetooth motorcycle helmet. Now, obviously, this is a full, a full face motorcycle helmet. It is, uh, certified dot, uh, by the DOT, Department of Transportation, so it does meet their standards for safety. Uh, there are a handful of nice little, uh, well, nice little goodies that this has. Uh, first off, we have, of course, the design. Now, this is the matte black finish that we got here. Uh, they do have a few other uh, designs. Of course, if you want to check this out, go ahead down there in the description below and there will be a link to that, uh, to this on Amazon, as well as, you know, when you're down there, don't forget to check out our social media. Hit that uh, subscribe button and always hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget that. Uh, now, as you can see on the side here, this little knob right here, that is actually the control for your Bluetooth. Now this is capable of being hooked up to your phone. It has a microphone included into the uh, face section of the mask or the helmet. Uh, it does have headphones in it and as, I'm un as I understand, it does have uh, one on either side. So you can listen to say uh, music and if you have multiples of these, you can link them together so that you have a PA system or a basically a two-way radio between them. Uh, now, of course, you'll want to study up and see how to use the little knob button here because it isn't very complex, but you do have to know uh, which way to do stuff so that you can make a phone call versus uh, talking to someone else with a helmet like this. Now, I did look it up and I did look up some, re uh, some questions and things like that. Uh, according to the company, they said that you can hook this up to more than one other helmet. So if you're riding in a group and you have three or more that uh, are riding together, you uh, can at least hook it up to three, I think they said. I don't know if you can hook it up to any more. They did kind of seem to shy away from doing that though. So I'm not sure exactly uh, what the reasoning is uh, behind that. Uh, maybe for the worry of distraction or maybe it's the idea of the Bluetooth signals overlapping and uh, you know then just kind of breaking everything up and not working properly. This does have a couple of uh, little simple features that many helmets have. Uh, obviously there are airflow vents here and these right here are sliders that you can open and close those vents and of course that would be the intake and then the exhaust here at the back. Uh, you do have uh, the same thing right here at the front right near the mouth area and uh, there is this piece here that will open and close uh, for that as well so that you can have additional airflow around uh, the face. Uh, obviously as you can see it does have the warning label there so it's nice it does come with the uh, kind of the covered protective shield so you don't get this all scratched up. Uh, that does flip open and if you can see in there it does have a tinted visor on the inside sort of like uh, it reminds me of the fighter pilot helmets where they have the included um, visor there and that is of course tinted. Uh, as I understand it though 
This does not have UV protection. So, and now the other nice thing about this is this does have a full front face opening as well. There is a button, let me see, oh, it's right here, literally right at the front of the chin. You grab a hold of that and squeeze it and the whole front end opens up, locks into place. So it has kind of more of that standard regular helmet look instead of the full faced helmet. Uh, now this model is an extra large. Uh, I bought an extra large because according to uh, some of the descriptions and going off of their measurements that they give you. They give you a way to measure your head uh, to make sure that you're getting the right size and uh, they did say that it does they do run a little bit small normally I would have uh, a size large uh, now it does have a chin strap the chin strap does have a pull uh, adjustment here so you can uh, open and open that out uh, to a little bigger or pull it down a little bit tighter and it has the uh, the sliding um, I can never remember exactly what this clip is, but it's it's the it's the three bar clip basically. Um, but okay, this is this is pretty cool. What what this has? This is actually a metal a metal clip here. This isn't plastic, so definitely uh, good quality there. And oh, it's got the ratchet, almost like a ratcheting system. Um, it doesn't look like it has the actual like ratchet where you pull on it and it pulls it tighter, but it does have this, uh, I'm guessing you can probably hear that, uh, where it clicks down and you can click it down so that it's nice and tight. This has quite a bit of padding. Uh, it looks like some of this may be removable. Uh, yep, some of it, it, it does come uh, and it unsnaps from inside. So so if you've had it for a while or something like that you can take it out and uh, you know you've been sweating in it and things like that you can take it out rinse it off with uh, and wash it with warm water and uh, you know kind of clean it off that way so it is cleanable in that aspect so we're talking about the USB connection and the power connection looks like that's what it is here uh, there is a little rubber uh, cover right here uh, that looks to be like what would the round piece would stick in. Let's see if I can actually get that out. Okay, I got it. Uh, I think so. Let's see. I think that fits right in there. Yep, there you go. So there you go. You use that and you can uh, plug it in and uh, charge it. I think I'm going to go ahead and try this on and see how it fits. Uh, we'll, we'll see what it looks like. Uh, you know, give you maybe a little, a little peek of what it looks like while it's on. And uh, I think then we'll go ahead and uh, finish this up. All right, everybody. Well, there you got to see me wearing the, uh, the helmet there. Uh, one thing I did notice, it did want to kind of fog up a little bit. Unfortunately, I don't have any air conditioning in here and it's been very, very humid as of late. Uh, having the shields down and everything uh, like that and then having no airflow because I'm not on a moving bike or anything like that I, I kind of expect that let's uh let's go ahead and see what we can do see if we can uh, get something going on with the Bluetooth maybe I can try this out and do like I've done with some other episodes and bring it up to the microphone and see if we can hear uh, through the Bluetooth uh, maybe a little bit of music or something like that and we can uh, kind of kind of get a feel for that and then we'll go ahead and wrap this up Alright guys, well there you go, uh, you could uh, hear some of the music there, it, um, it's just some different stuff, I, I just kind of randomly picked some stuff, uh, I didn't really listen to it ahead of time, so you know, I wasn't sure what it was going to come up with, but it was a, a little bit of a different mix of, of uh, music there, some different tones and whatnot. 
so you guys should be able to hear at least in general what uh, this can do now as this is hooked up it does have this blinking blue light here that you can uh, see on the back side when you go to link it up you will see a red light and the blue light flashing back and forth you know I, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this uh, the Bluetooth seems like it works okay and get a chance to uh, to use the microphone on it and you know I'll, I'll try that some other time but uh, as long as as long as uh, this other stuff seems to work reasonably well I'm gonna guess that the microphone probably works all right as well uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that up guys uh, this has uh, been the Bluetooth uh, motorcycle helmet here from Amazon and uh, again that will be down in the description below a link to that to the Amazon site as well as our social media and uh, other links uh, while you're heading down that way, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, guys. Um, helps us out, lets us know that you appreciate our content. Uh, there's also that subscribe button, and there will be an icon that's floating around, probably somewhere around there. If you don't see it, go ahead down there and hit the subscribe button there. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get your notifications set up so that you know when we have new videos coming out here on World of Me. Anyhow, my name is Cougar. This has been another episode of the Amazon Review Series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!